Hola! Welcome to my channel. My name is Risa and this is Divine Portal. And today's video, I'm going to be pulling messages from my Aquarians. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any of your placements. So let's get right into it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, that information will be down below in the comments. So let's, ooh, okay. Before I could even pray, hold on, let me say a little prayer. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, forces from the other side, God, Goddess, Divine Mother, Divine Father, please pass along the most important, most loving, accurate, helpful messages for all of my Aquarians out there, those who are watching this video right now, and those who will find this video in the future. Thank you, Spirit. Also, please remove and block any negative, harmful energy that's being sent to me or any of my subscribers. I ask that you block it and send it back to where it belongs. Thank you. Okay, so on this side, Aquarius, we have blessed and abundant. And we have lucky. So you can be very lucky, very blessed, very abundant right now. This could be how people are viewing you or this could just be your energy like you're vibrating high attracting good things you're grateful you're blessed you're abundant okay spirit what can you tell me about the current energy these two fell out i guess i'll take them what can you tell me about aquarius what is the energy like around aquarius at this time what do they need to be aware of all that good stuff Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, these are, let me first show you the ones that fell out before I could even get started. We have holding back. And Scorpio, which this came out in my last reading um, again. So there could be a Scorpio that's holding back or you could be holding back from a Scorpio. We also have Cancer. Okay. One's off for some reason. I feel like it's too low. There we go. Okay. And we also have a Womb Healing. Okay. Let me get some more out. What else can you tell me for Aquarius? This one wanted to come out too, Aquarius. Aquarius. What else, Spirit? Any other messages for Aquarius? Okay. We have a Leo on the bottom. I know that we're currently in Leo season, are, are we? Yeah, Leo season, I think. Okay, what else, spirits? Any other messages? Last time. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'll get the ones that I flipped over because that's a lot. And on the bottom, we have Cancer again. So heavy Cancer er energy. <laughs> Look at what came out. Grateful. Didn't I say this in the beginning? It's like you have this beautiful, grateful energy. It's like the more grateful you are, the more that flows to you, the more that comes to you. Okay, I'm going to, for some reason, I'm going to say them how they came out. They came out like in little piles. So we have self-love. We have soulmates, mine forever, okay? And these came out together also, trendsetter. We have heart to heart, 
these two came out together. We have fighting and keeping the peace. Hmm. Okay, let me see. How can I organize these? I'll put this one right here. This one right here. Keeping the peace, fighting. Okay, and here are the other ones. Okay, power couple, stay hopeful, we have air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I've grown and come back, okay, so let me see if I can put this together, okay, Aquarius, so let me just read off the signs that I see here. Uh, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We saw Leo and we also saw Cancer again. So it could be any of those signs. This could be signs that you have in your chart. Maybe they have it in theirs. Um, however it resonates for you, okay? I do feel like you're holding back from someone. You could be focusing on yourself right now. Maybe you're not you know, you're not really that interested in a person or a love connection, even if you do care about these people. It's like, maybe right now you're just taking the time to focus on yourself and love on yourself. I also feel like that's um, part of the reason why you are so blessed and abundant. It's like, sometimes we feel, I feel like personally in my own life, when I focus too much on love and a person and a situation that I want, it's like I kind of neglect myself. And once I do put the focus back on myself, I find that I am manifesting money way easier. Um, you know, just little things. And um, so this could be the energy that you're in. To my feminines out there, my women out there, you could have a very healing energy, a very healing womb. You could be taking time to heal your womb. Some of you could be celibate. Some of you could have given birth and you're just taking time to like heal your womb. I know it could be like really traumatic to the mothers out there, like especially, you know, those of us who have had like really traumatic birthing experiences. Uh, we need to always remember to put the love back into our womb appreciate our womb um yeah and i feel like you're just grateful at this time you're trying to stay hopeful um you have a very i, don't, I know this sounds really tacky but like trendy type of energy around you um your style your hobbies your interests um your art your music, whatever it is that you do, it's very trendy. People like wanna, it's like they they see you doing really well at whatever you do and they wanna like hop on the bag, bandwagon. You know that phrase, like they wanna be like you. Of course, you're the Aquarius. We are the trendsetters. We are the futuristic thinkers, um, the visionaries, right? So it's like we set the trends and then by the time everyone on everyone else catches on we're like onto something new right so currently people are viewing you as being very blessed very abundant very stylish very i feel like i feel like people admire you whatever you do you could be a reader you could be an artist you could be a chef you could do hair you could do nails you could do lashes you could um, be a teacher you could what else am I seeing I'm seeing a mechanic could be a mechanic to my masculines out there or the women out there or you could just be very like I'm seeing like interior design your style your home um, what else you could be in the medical field because I'm seeing like scrubs you could wear scrubs but it's like wherever you work, people admire you. And, you know, even if they don't tell you this, they really do admire you. Your friends, your family members, they admire you. Um, 
Yeah, the way that you take care of yourself, the way that you pour into yourself, you're very beautiful, very handsome. Somebody here wants to have a conversation with you. They want to like get deep with you. They want to like just put everything out in the open. They want to have a heart to heart. They want to connect with you. Maybe you guys could be fighting at this time or not seeing eye to eye or not communicating, but like they're tired of that. They they want to come in. They want to fix things. They want to keep the peace. They want to like mend whatever has been going on. They want to come back and tell you that they've grown. They're not the same person that they used to be. They're not, you know, I'm hearing immature. They're not immature anymore. They, they've grown a lot from this connection and they've learned a lot from this connection and they want to, to see if they still have a chance with you. They feel like together you guys could be a power couple. It's like they see how successful you are or how good you are at whatever you do. And they want to be a part of that. They want to add to it. They feel like you're their soulmate. They they feel like they want you to be theirs forever. Like even if this is someone that you haven't spoken to in a while, even if this is someone that you met years and years ago, they still feel like you guys are meant to be together. They want you to come back. It's like they feel like you're so far gone, like you're so focused on yourself, you know, you're which is a good thing right they admire that but it's like they feel like you no longer want them anymore they could feel like you're holding back or they could be the ones that are holding back because they see you doing your thing and they don't want to interrupt or they don't want to like make you mad Okay, so I think I got everything. I'm gonna put them over here. If you are a masculine watching this, I think you, I feel like you could be attracted to a specific type of feminine. Like, you don't want, you know, uh, these hoes. You know, even if hoes are fun, right? I feel like to men, Holes are fun or whatever, but you want someone that is a healer, someone that will take good care of you, someone that loves themselves, someone that someone that values themselves. You know, I feel like you want a woman that you can grow with, that you can have kids with, or you know, build with. Right, and if you're feminine, then you want a masculine energy that that won't distract you, that won't play games, that won't, you know, have you looking stupid out here. Someone that you can trust, like a real man or a woman, whatever you're into, right? Okay, um, which one should I get now? I'm gonna get some of these gonna get some love messages so whoever's on your mind whoever you've been connecting with let's see what they want to tell you please like the video subscribe if you're new to my channel um yeah show me some love what can you tell me for Aquarius and this person that's on your mind or that they're connecting to. What can you tell me for Aquarius? Aquarius. How do I keep your attention? What else can you tell me, spirits? Okay. Don't worry about them. I love you. We both want to fuck you okay i'm tired of being a secret what else spirit on the bottom we have missing you like crazy i'm hearing that casey and jojo song 
is it cra is it called crazy what is it called i know how it goes but i'm trying to think of the title they're going crazy thinking about you thinking about how to get your attention okay what the fuck if cancer comes out one more motherfucking time <laughs> so some of you could really be dealing with a cancer um yeah I tried dating a cancer once and it was like terrible like I will never date another cancer man ever again the cancer women I love them one of my longest best friends that I've had is a cancer and my sister is a cancer I love cancer women but the cancer men I don't know I just can't do it I cry over you hmm Aquarius and their person what can you tell me you can trust me. I promise. Mary Pinky promise. Aquarius and your person. We have a plant here. Aquarius. The other person. Dun dun dun. Aquarius. Let's get some more. Let's get four more. I don't love you anymore. Mm. Aquarius we have Gemini Aquarius it's toxic but I love it mm. Aquarius let them talk okay Come on. I want you to be vulnerable and on the bottom, your self-respect is so fucking sexy. Okay, so I just saw these other bitches could never. Aquarius. So there is someone that's, they're worried that you're no longer interested in them. The signs that I got are Cancer again and Gemini. So we have double Gemini and double Cancer because we had the air sign card come out earlier. Um, but somebody's missing you. I feel like this could have been someone that told you or that gave you the impression that they they weren't interested in you anymore. They didn't love you anymore. But they're really missing you like crazy. It's like someone that's putting up a front. Like, it's whatever. I don't give a fuck about Aquarius. I don't love Aquarius anymore. But deep down, they're missing you like crazy. They they want your attention again. They feel like you're giving it to someone else or you're just focused on yourself, okay? If there's anyone else involved in this situation, this is a third party or whatever party, right? Whatever type of party. <laughs> they want you to know, don't worry about them. Don't worry about my ex. Don't worry about my friends. Don't worry about my family. Don't worry about whoever right i love you i want to be with you okay if this is like a group of friends or i'm even hearing like a couple they're both interested in you they both want to have sex with you this could have been like uh, a couple that were both interested in you and and it's like they both fall in love with you and now they're like both fighting over you for some of you it's not all you all of your stories but yeah for some of you I'm getting there could have been a couple that fell in love with you and they both wanted you and now they're like fighting each other over you and it's like it's toxic they know it's toxic you know it's toxic but they love it I don't know this is weird like there are some weird couples out there um but yeah someone's sad over you they cry over you if this is a third party situation someone is crying over you even if it's not a third party, someone's in their feelings. I'm tired of being a secret. Maybe this is someone that you were keeping a secret. For those of you that are in a relationship, maybe you started talking to someone, you know, on the side and they don't want to be a secret anymore. They want you to let people know that you guys are together. Or even if you're single and you start talking to someone, but you haven't really told anyone, they want you to 
to like let it be known that you guys are together this is this could be also a new person they want you to trust them whoever this is it could be new past person side person doesn't matter they want you to trust them they want to gain your trust okay if there are people around this connection that are talking you know that have shit to say it's like they don't care they're like okay maybe you're keeping someone a secret because there's other people involved and you know it's a sticky situation or maybe they're keeping you a secret and you know it's like they're just tired they're like I don't care anymore like I don't care what anyone says like I want you I want to be with you with this plant some of you could really like plants you could have a lot of house plants a garden um or this could be like this person wants to grow with you they see potential in this connection like i said they feel like you guys could be a power couple there's a lot of potential here some of you could have kids with this person or they want to have kids with you the other person and i want you to be vulnerable so for some of you there is another person let me see what can you tell me about this other person what can you tell me about this other person spirit that's in this connection or around this connection? What can you tell me, spirit? Let me get a good shuffle in. Okay. What can you tell me about the other person? I'm going through so much right now. So, okay, they could have someone around them that they're going through a lot with. We did see the fighting up here. So they could be going through a situation with someone where they're constantly fighting, fighting over you. Um, you know, it could just be a lot. Drama, conflict, fights, competition, like I said. Okay, so the other person could feel like you're their competition. They could want to start drama with you, conflict, fights. They're jealous of you, I'm hearing. I'm hearing for someone, this is someone that copies you. It's like the other person could know about you. They watch you a lot. They want to start fights. They're jealous of you. They try to act like you, be like you, in hopes that this other person that is interested in you, that they'll finally be interested in them again, you know? Kind of sad if you think about it. Please reach out. Like, yeah, this person really wants you back. I'm getting like begging type of energy. Like they want to, it's like, for some of you, this, if there was a third party, it's like, it's gotten to the point where you just don't even want to be a part of it anymore. It's so much drama, so much bullshit that comes along with this person. It's like, do I even want this person? If it's this difficult, like, is this really my person? Okay, I'm gonna pull some sexual messages and then I'll pull charms. Okay, just a warning, just a heads up. I am going to be pulling sexual messages, sexual cards. Um, it does become very explicit. So if you're not into that type of language, you can click off now. Okay, now's your chance. Slipping and sliding. Let's see, what can you tell me for Aquarius and the sexual energy around this connection or this person that they're interested in? Hold on, I'm flipped over. We have baby making sex. So... Someone could want to make a baby with you. You could have babies. Some of you could be pregnant already. We have the perfect breasts. So the feminine energies, you have the perfect breasts. They love your breasts. Body of a goddess on the bottom. They love your body. They love you from head to toe. They just, they feel like everything is beautiful. Everything's perfect. It's like, you know, as women, we tend to become insecure of our bodies, like whatever we consider flaws, right? But someone sees you, it's like other people don't see what you see. They love your body. 
especially your person, whoever this is. We have neck kisses or hickeys. Spread it open. <laughs> what else, spirit? We have slurp on it. We have a beautiful, healthy relationship. What else, spirit? I can't wait to make love to you. For Aquarius. This pussy is so good. The way you moan is music to my ears. Big and juicy. And on the bottom we have goddess level pussy. Okay. So the sexual energy here, I feel like this is someone that wants to be very passionate and and um it's like they want to be very passionate, very slow, but they also like to be rough, like in a very passionate way. They want to kiss sorry that's my son upstairs um <laughs> they want to kiss on your neck they want to give you hickeys they might want to like claim you you know so that people know that you belong to someone even though hickeys are like so like high school <laughs> this person wants to claim you okay like i said they love your breast they love your body um they love uh, this masculine loves the way that you give them head especially if you make sound effects and you're very passionate with it um, I do feel like the masculine energy here is very blessed very well endowed in the pants area okay um, yeah so they like they like when you suck on it they like when you put your lips on it they love your lips they love when you like use your lips and make noises okay um sorry i was getting visuals <laughs> um the feminine energy here has very good pussy okay it's 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 like goddess level you know it's so good this if this is someone that you haven't had sex with yet or if it's been a while, they can't wait to make love to you. If they're like at a distance right now, they can't wait to see you. They can't wait to make love to you. Um, they want, you know, they want a healthy relationship with you. They don't want anything toxic. Like they want a healthy relationship where you guys have sex every night and go to sleep and wake up and have morning sex. You know, they, yeah. They also want to make a baby with you. So if, you know, you're not ready for that, you might want to wear protection or don't have sex at all. I don't know. But yeah, they want to have the baby with you. They want, they like when you spread it open, maybe when you're like spread eagle. So they could like the missionary position or when you bend over and, and hold it open, spread it open for them. Um yeah let's see what else and the way that you moan is so sexy they love hearing you moan some of you could like moan their name we have throbbing it's like this person has so much built up sexual tension sexual energy for you and we have body of a goddess again. Yeah, they love your body. The feminine energy here, they love your body from head to toe. I'm I'm hearing your thighs. They love your thighs. Oh, this came out. Poor hygiene and toxic low vibrancy. So this is I feel like this is the other feminine energy because we clearly saw that. The other feminine here has like goddess level pussy. It's really good, really, you know, 
juicy all that and um i feel like the other woman here that's involved she doesn't take very good care of herself it could be very low vibrational which would make sense because of course this is the energy that you got the womb healing so you know you care for yourself you heal yourself you know it's it's very high vibrational very juicy very good very goddess level right and you know i feel like there could be a masculine that has poor hygiene a feminine that has poor hygiene okay you got to be careful you got to be careful giving yourself out to people that you know either they're still connected to other people or they don't have the best hygiene yeah look on the bottom multiple sex partners so there could be I feel like this could be a separate energy. So you could have a masculine here that's used to fucking low vibrational women. You know, they could have multiple partners. Right? But I feel like whoever this other masculine and this other feminine are, they're like, you know, compatible. I feel like this is just a warning. You know, if you get weird energy off of someone, listen to that. But yeah, okay, let's see. For the charms, let's see what signs are coming out for my Aquarius. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it on up. Okay, what signs are coming towards my beautiful Aquarians? I got a lot. Okay, we have Pisces, Aries. Taurus. Oh, Capricorn fell. We have Capricorn, Gemini, Cancer, Capricorn. Oh, there's a dog here. Can a Capricorn? Um, Leo, Aries, Virgo, Pisces again. Pisces again. Cancer again, Libra, Libra, Scorpio. Let me get two more, just two more. Of course, I got more than two. Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. Okay. So those are all the signs. These could be signs that they have in their chart, signs that you have in yours. Um, it could be any sign, honestly. If this reading resonated, please make sure you like the video before you leave. It really helps me. Also, I am offering my $15 personal readings. Those will be down below, pinned in the comments, all the information. Um, I still have a couple decks available. Um, I'm waiting to sell those so that I can restock um, some more cards, some more decks, all of my decks. So if you're interested in that, my link will be down below as well in the description. I love you very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.